So we're going to look at a committee question using permutations and combinations, but also using the fundamental counting principle. And so here's the question. From five Nepalese, four Americans, and six Britons, uh, a committee of six is to be formed. In how many ways can this be formed when the committee contains exactly two Americans? All right. Hi, everybody. Uh, I was forwarded this question and asked to, uh, to describe what was going on here. So the scenario is we've got five Nepalese, uh, four Americans, and six Britons. And we're from this group, kind of a, a UN sort of a group here. We're going to uh, form a committee okay, with six people in it. And the restriction is here that we have to have exactly two Americans in this committee. So a committee of six people out of this group, but with exactly two Americans. Now, we always, always start with the restriction, okay? Whoops. Yeah, there we go. Start with the restriction. Now, I'm going to do this. I'm actually going to do this particular problem here in, in two different ways. Um, my The first method that I'm going to use here is going to assume uh, some familiarity with the ideas of permutations and combinations. What we're looking at right now, okay, because we're coming up with a committee, there's no specified position on the committee, okay? There's no like president, vice president, secretary, whatever. There's no chairman. It's just a group of people. So order isn't important. So this is necessarily a combination. Okay. This is a combination here. Wow. Um, now, because it's a combination, uh, I can I can do this actually relatively quickly and easily here. So first of all, we got to look at the restriction and that is that there have got to be exactly two Americans. Now I've got four Americans to choose from. And so I'm going to use four, choose two. Okay. Now, once that's done, I no longer am worried about any of the other Americans. I'm I've chosen the two that I need, but what I need to do is I need to fill the remaining four positions on the committee. Okay, bear in mind, I have only chosen two people. So I still have four other positions to fill. Now, because the only restriction here was that I had to have two Americans, it there's there's no restriction here. There's there's nothing telling me how I have to choose between these other two groups. So really what I'm going to do is I'm just going to combine those together into one group of other people that I'm going to choose. So it's basically the Americans and then it's it's the group that's that is not the Americans. And there are 11 people in that group. And out of those 11 people, I need to choose four. Okay. So what we're seeing here is, and this is consistent with a lot of the combination questions that we do, not all of them, but a lot of them. The first digit in the combination combines the four and the 11 combined to be the size of the group that I'm choosing from. So that says 15 people. And if you look back at the original question, there are indeed 15 people. These secondary numbers here should add up to the size of the group that I'm choosing. And I'm choosing a committee of six and two and four does in fact equal six. Now, when you enter this into your calculator, you will get 19, whoops, shoot, 1980. 1,980 different combinations that will give you this committee of six people where two of them, exactly two of them are Americans. Now, that's one way of doing this. Now, another way of doing this, if you're not familiar with the idea of combinations, is to use, just use the fundamental counting principle. Okay, the fundamental counting, oh, the com computer's taking a while here, principle. Now, to do this, I have to look at the this group again here and I'm looking to fill six positions. One, two, three, four, five, six. In order to complete this committee, I've got six different positions I got to fill here. Now, how many ways, and I'm, I'm going to look at the Americans first because that's my restriction here. And these are the two positions I'm going to fill with the Americans. Uh, because order isn't important, it doesn't really matter. There's no position here. There's no president, whatever. It doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to say that the first two are the Americans here. How many ways can I choose the Americans here? Well, I've got a group of four, so I've got four options for this first position, and then I've got two options for the next position. Now, that is not strictly true, and I'm going to have to come back to that in just a moment here. 
Okay, I'm gonna have to come back to that in just a moment. Now, once I'm done with that, I have to choose from the remaining 11 people. And then there are 11 choices for this first position, followed by 10, followed by nine, followed by eight. Okay, this is a really good start. It is, however, incorrect at this point. I'll explain why here. Um, let's just say that uh, that the way these people work here, let's say that we've got, um, the people are all labeled like this. Okay, we've got A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. Okay, so here are my Americans, let's say. Uh, the five here, let's say these are the, the Nepalese here. And so now I have six Britons left over. So e, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O. And these represent the Britons. Whoops. Okay, the Britons. I'll do that again. Okay. Let's just say for argument's sake that I chose American, uh, the Americans A and B. Okay, there's the two out of the four. And then of the remaining 11, let's just say that I chose uh, E, F, and then let's say J, K, L. Okay. Oh, wait, one, two. Oh, I, sorry, I chose too many people. There we go. A, B, E, F, J, K. So these are the people that I chose. Now, here's the problem with this. When I did four choose two over here, that also opened up the possibility that maybe for the first position I chose B and for the second position I chose person A. And then when I chose over here, okay, when I chose over here uh, and chose these guys, maybe what, what if I had chosen, let's say, person F first, then person J, then maybe person K and then person E. So I did this in a different order, but I got exactly the same committee here. It's the same group of people. So that really counts as exactly the same committee. So when I choose them in, in a different order, but I still choose the same group, I'm basically just doubling up on the committees that I've, I've, I'm choosing here. So when I gotta come back over here and I have to fix this. So when I've got four choose two, I'm actually gonna have to divide that. I'm gonna just clean this up a little bit. I have to divide that by the number of different ways that I could choose those two people. Whoops. That I could choose those two people right there. And let's just think about it. No matter which two people I choose, like, and let's just say that it is A and B, okay? How many different ways can I choose those people? Well, there are two choices for the first person followed by one choice. Okay, so two times one. So this is the total number of ways that I could choose person A and person B. There are two ways I could do it. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to divide this by two times one. So that is the total number of ways I can choose the Americans. Four times two. Okay, four choices for the first position, two choices for the second position. But once I've chosen those people, there are two times one ways that I could have chosen that group. Now, from the remaining 11 people, Okay, I'm going to choose four here. Now, I just saw, okay, now I got to make sure I do this. I just saw that I can choose this group of people, E, F, J, K, in a, in a different orders and still get the same group. Well, how many different ways can I choose those four people? Well, let's just take a look at this. I have got four choices for that first person. Okay, could have been E, F, J, K, followed by, whoops three choices for the next person, followed by two choices for the next person, followed by one final choice. This is the total number of different ways that I could choose exactly the same group. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here to this 11 times 10 times nine times eight, and I'm going to divide that by all the different ways I could choose that exact same group. Okay, and now when I enter this into my calculator, I'm going to get, once again, 1980 because it turns out that these two things that I've just done here are actually exactly what combinations are.
It's just a different way of looking at it. And it depends where you're at in the course, which one you're going to use.